I hope you guys are all having a productive day. Easy Auto Fix here and today we're going to learn symptoms of a bad blower motor. The purpose of the blower motor is to provide airflow throughout the vents. This helps move air through the evaporator to cool down the interior when turning on the AC. On the flip side, it also moves air through the heater core to warm up your car when turning on the heater. The most common location for the blower motor is under the glove box compartment. Here's the location on a Toyota Camry. And here's the location on a Suzuki Forenza. The first symptom is unusual noises. If you hear a rattling sound when turning on the AC or heater, your car could have a faulty blower motor. Sometimes debris or foreign objects such as leaves can get stuck inside the blower motor cage. Another reason why you may hear strange noises could be due to an older damaged bearing. The second symptom is a blown fuse. When the motor begins to fail, it will rotate the fan slower than usual. A slow turning blower motor will draw more current than required for a proper operation. When this happens, it can blow a fuse or even fail the blower motor resistors. If you want to test the amount of current being drawn by a blower motor, you can use a clamp-on multimeter. I'll leave it in the description below. The third symptom is the blower motor does not function at all. If you turn on your AC or heater but notice there's no air coming out of the vents, it could be due to a malfunctioning blower motor. It can fail from a worn out bearing or old age. In that case, the best thing to do is to replace your blower motor. Make sure to check your blower motor fuse or torn wiring as this can cause a similar symptom. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next one.